Well, now you've finished the second half of um, protestins, and the second half is the algae, the more plant-like organisms. Um, again, we're going to use the same table that you had before, checking answers um, on it if you have not already done that. But that's what I'm going to work my way through, just like I did when I talked about the protozoa. So in your algae, the first phylum is chlorophyta. Chlorophyta have chlorophyll in them, and so again, the first uh, five or six letters of those two words are the same. Chlorophyll is green, and so that can help you remember that the green algae are a part of phylum chlorophyta. Everything in there um, either has chloro in it and chlorophyll is green, so you can hook those, those terms together to help you remember that. Chrysophyta are the diatoms, and they are the greatest oxygen producers, uh, even more so than the plants that we have. Um, God put those into the oceans to produce all the oxygen that all of his living creatures were going to need in order to survive. The way I remember this one is that if the diatoms weren't around, if phylum chrysophyta wasn't there to produce the oxygen that we need to survive, it would make us very sad. It would make us cry. Um, we would be dead, obviously, too, as well. But um, the, the word cry at the beginning of chrysophyta just reminds me that um, without them, we would cry. We would be sad because we wouldn't have the oxygen that we need to live. Kind of an interesting way to remember that one. Pyrophyta is... Um, the dinoflagellates that can make a red tide. And I remember this one because pyrophyta has the same prefix as a pyromaniac. And I don't know if you've ever heard of a pyromaniac before. A pyromaniac is somebody that enjoys playing with fire. They may be some you know, like little kids who play with matches. They um, you know, may be somebody who really enjoys setting off fireworks. And so uh, a pyromaniac plays with fire. They love fire. They're excited about fire. Well, fire is red, and the red tides that, the, um, that phylum pyrophyta causes are also red. Another way to think of that is um, a pyromaniac loves fire. Pyro means fire. Fires are very destructive, and the red tides are also very, very destructive. Um, they can kill the, the fish and the other living organisms that are in the water where those red tides occur. So that's how I hook those words together to remember that one. Um, I don't have a specific uh, memory tip for phaophyta, but if you go down to rhodophyta, rhodophyta and red algae both start with R. And I, students tend to want to try to mix up the pyrophyta and the red algae, um, just because the, the red memory tip can kind of sometimes throw you off. So you will have to be careful about that one. But rhodophyta and red algae both start with R, and so those are the two that hook together. One other really important point to remember about the algae is that the phaophyta and the rhodophyta are the ones that are actually multicellular in nature. Everything else in, phylum, or in kingdom protozoa I'm sorry, in Kingdom Protista is going to be single cells, but the phaophyta and the rhodophyta are multicellular, and they're the big kelps, the big um, kelp forests, the, the big algaes that you're going to see um, in the waters. And so those are the ones that you're going to be able to see without the aid of a microscope. You don't need a microscope to see them. You can see them with your naked eye because they tend to grow so large. So hopefully those memory tips will help you keep um, straight the phylum of algae. And um, so if you look at the protozoa and the algae together, remember the protozoa are animal-like, the algae are more plant-like, and together they make up Kingdom Protista.